Hello guys, what is going on? It is Lachlan here, and of course, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby series, back here right where we ended off at the entrance to the Seaball Cavern, and boy was last episode quite an intense one. If you haven't seen it already, I highly suggest you do that, and uh, you can probably already tell, but Groudon, Groudon, however you pronounce his name, has been released, and uh, he has gone in and unleashed the rays that are deadly. We must go quickly to Suitopolis to save the world and uh, not let him get to his primal form, which will be enough to wipe us all out. So, I believe we go into this route over here and dive under and then get into the city. I believe that's how you get in. You dive in, dive out sort of thing. And uh, yeah, this is going to be quite an intense episode. So, of course, like always, if you do enjoy this uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby series, then be sure to leave a like rating below. Wow, divers underwater. That's new. Now, if I remember correctly, in that grass, or sorry, seaweed, I guess I should say, is, oh boy, I used to love this theme. The underwater theme is so good. Um, is Clam Pearl, um, which, oh, we have a repel on anyway, which we're not going to reinstate. Um, and then, it's just we should put, oh, you can't use it underground. Wow. I guess that's what the scuba deer does. Because you can get the gems and stuff and trade them in for stones. But, um, yeah, of course, like always, if you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like rating below. Let's get right into this. So, uh, we don't want to dive right back in. So, here we are in Pseudopolis. Wow, look at the reflection. I think that it's mainly because of the circumstances. We can't go to the gym right now, can we? No, it's locked. Uh, we don't want to go to the gym this episode anyway. Of course, we want to try and catch a Groudon. Um, let's try and find our way around Pseudopolis. It goes straight to the gym, which I believe is a water gym. Um, all right, we don't want to use another one. I believe this is the main entrance. I think we have to go to the other side, though. So we have to ask around with the people that live here. Let's also put these on for banter. That's just a weird entrance over there. Um, let's just see if there's anything else. It's so hard to see the screen with all the glare from Groudon's uh, heavy, heavy sun rays. Okay, uh, we've got to go through a couple of these houses. I think we go all the way around the back here. But this is it, guys. This is where everything goes down. And, oh, wow, all the doors are closed. That's so spooky. All right, everyone's just, they've just surrendered. What about you? Door is closed. This is spooky. And like I said in my last episode, this theme sounds like a really, really, oh, we have a, we have a hit. You can't be kidding me. Yeah, I was going to say, if that's shot, then something's really up. Oh, everything's just nice and dandy out here. I think I'll watch some buzz nab and calm myself down. Um, the whole town has taken refuge and nobody will leave their home. Oh, wow. Well, you left your home, obviously, because you do, but I just baller. All right, now I want to find this item, though, more than anything. I want, I may want to save the world, but I want to find this sneaky item first. All right, it seems to be over in this direction. I know we have a world to save, guys, but there's also an item to be found. All right. There we go, protein. Easy game, easy life. All right. Um, I think we're going to go to the other side of the river, like I said, because that is where I remember there was some sort of like cave entrance so we'll go to this side hopefully we don't get into a battle i bet we will i can almost guarantee it all right please no i should oh that's another thing i need to get the o powers i was meant to get them already we get them at more while we will do that if uh, more vile sorry we will do that if i if this we have time this episode um i feel like i should put these on again and uh, go over here and find some cheeky loot so this is where the entrance to the cave is i believe if my memory serves me correct, it's somewhere up here, the primal cave, where he tries to uh, do primal evolution. Um, that door would be closed. Is it up here? I feel like it's up here. Yep, here we go. Here's the gang, Wally and Steven. So you did come. I've been waiting for you. What terrible heat. It feels as though the entire world will be burned away. This is very tragic. You need to hear what my friend has to say. Hello, Wally. I know your name. No, it's not Wally, is it? Is it Wally? Wallace! Damn it, I called you Wally. The Wally's the kid. Oh, how did I get that wrong? Wallace, sorry. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the Cave of Origin. This drought is being caused by a power emitting, emanating from the Cave of Origin. Um, that is the blue orb. I see. Follow me. Okay. I shall follow. Alright. Think, Stephen. Think. This sunlight. People and Pokemon need sunlight to live. So why does this sunlight fill us with so much dread? Because it's too hot. Come on, Steven. Blazing sun over Pseudopolis is growing even more intense. Soon all of home will be caught under its withering glare. 
if that were to happen. Pretty sure, like I said, Slugmar and Makargo would be running the joint. Just saying. Um, you know, even Blaziken, they'd be fine with it. Oh. What are you guys doing here? Bruh. My name is Jeff. <laughs> I laughed too much at that. <laughs> they turned around just as they said it. <laughs> I can't even right now. Are they seriously gonna battle me to stop me? Oh no, they gave me they gave me a magma soup. Oh, to a, yes, because it lets you go in with the smoldering heat. Um, probably that anticipation of making contact with the ground, and at this point, doesn't like any of us hope from that. I didn't know we actually had to put on a magma suit. Anyone could pass through that magma now, fiercer than ever due to the force of nature. That's true. It is very possible that its energy could be far greater than our calculations show. Don't worry, I'm just gonna do it for the vine, boys. The ancient power will protect the boy and his Pokemon. You hit the nail on the head, those old folks in my pie did say that the red orb would unleash Crown's primal pies and trigger a primal version, while the blue orb had the power to reverse that and calm the beast. You guys... Alright, don't worry, boys. I'm just going to go on and leave Roy Jenkins. Alright, it's the same energy that gives Crown a power with the blue orb, which contains the power to suppress that. It should be possible to calm the rage of the flood of magma. Of course, the blue orb's power alone will not lead you to where ground on weights. You will not reach Holland's core that way. Use the suit that you were just given. With that, it will finally become possible to stand up against the forces of nature. Yes, because, yeah, other things would kill as well. You'll be okay. You and your Pokemon can handle it, whatever happens. And before I die, oh, I guess if I die, everyone dies, so whatever. It's all up to me now. Alright. It's doing it for the vine. Child, you know I have no right to call you child. Fellow trainer, I have caused great harm. Yeah, that's right, Max. You sit the fudge down. That face gets me every time. I actually had a look of what Maxi looked like in Pokemon uh, Ruby, and he looks so much more normal. May, my bae, what are you doing here? I heard of the news that things are going haywire around Cytopolis, and then I saw you on the BuzzNav. I couldn't sit here and do nothing when I knew you were here on the thick of it. I came flying. Yeah, have a look at my buds. What, is that Team Magma, Team Arc? What? Yeah, they're just my, you know, sort of my buds now. Um, we all just, you know, sit about and stuff like that. Because you, you're the best friend I have. Oh, May, my bae. <sighs> Alright. Doing it for the thrill. I'm doing it for the... I just said the same thing twice. Alright, here we go. My name is Jeff. <laughs> the Cave of Origin. This is it, guys. I even remember this theme. This is it. This is what it all comes down to. Us saving the world. Oh, what? We have bats in here? Okay, fudge that. Uh-uh-uh. Ah, uh, having none of that, there will be absolutely zero. I repeat, bloody... Z oh, we have one Max Chappelle left. Holy crap, we need to stock up on those. Yeah, there'll be absolutely none of that. What's that? Oh, no. Groudon's getting pissed. Maybe there might be an item over here? Why did it make me go that way? Oh, there's two ways. It's a maze. And these are un goable ways. Okay. It feels like it's underwater, though. It really does. Alright, here we go. Do we have to put on that magma suit yet? Are we gonna die? Go away, Golbat. We don't need to mess with you. This is the way. Yep. The rocks have come down even more. This is gonna be it, guys. The tension is rising. Here we go. It's still rising. Every step closer. I think this is it. I think this is the last one. No. Uh, just turn this on. For items. <laughs> oh, he's getting angry now. He is getting... Come on. Oh, he does it at the entrance of everything. Okay, this... That roar is getting louder every time, though. This is actually it, though. Groudon. Here we go, guys. This is it. The battle with Groudon. I hope you guys enjoy. We will not be refreshing and repellent. This is it. He's just come through his mighty cave. The big battle we've all been waiting for. Is he primal though? I don't think he's primal. Oh yeah, I've got my magma suit on. Nice. I'm surprised I haven't burnt yet, to be honest. Changed into the magma suit. Tactical switch there, right there. Into the suit with the blue orb. Alrighty. The tension. Oh. Oh. 
There he is. Wow, it looks so amazing. You can hear a voice from within the Magnum suit. Do you read me? It is I, Maxi the Great. A device built into that suit you have donned all allows me to talk to you. We have received the readings from you, this, your suit. They suggest the ground on his pit. Uh, sorry, I'm messing up here. Is my sub supposition correct? Does it stand before you now? I don't want to say anything because you might do something. You must listen. Do not waste even a single second. Leap upon ground's mighty back. Then let take you to destination of the cave? I think that's what I got from it. Time to jump! Leroy Jenkins! Alright. I think we just jumped on Groudon's back. No, we didn't. Oh, we did! Boys, we are riding Groudon's back. What? Uh, I, I guess because he ha he's going all the way through the Cave of Origin. And this is where he will primal evolution, but my blue orb will stop him. Does he not notice? Does he ever go, ah, I wonder if there's some guy on my back with a blue orb. I wonder if I should not do this. <laughs> Oh, wow. This would be the cave where he becomes a primal Pokemon again. Here we go. I think he becomes primal and then versus us, but the blue orb will stop him. So, why did I take the suit off? I'll die! Oh, that's not a smart move, buddy. That's not a smart move at all. Here we go, guys. This is officially, and I'm going to make sure... Oh, my... My dex nav is completely out. I almost forgot to do this. You always say before you initiate a battle. It's time to go. Oh, I almost forgot to save the first time around. Guru. Here we go. Turn the mu music up to full. Here we go. This sounds exactly similar to the... Some of the legendary theme I've heard before. In fact, this was... Here we go. Oh! Oh, boys! No, is he primal evolving? Oh no. He's doing it. Oh. I haven't seen it yet. No. He's doing it. And. Shouldn't everyone die right now because his primal becomes too good? And it just wrecks everybody? Oh, boys. Your face when you just instantly capture my master ball, lel. <laughs> that I love. I really love the cinematography in this. In a game, like just to think, ten years is it almost ten years ago when I was playing. On, yeah, it was almost ten years ago. Oh, there's the theme. I can hear it. I can hear the original theme in the background. <laughs> Desolate land. I believe that makes water moves completely. Like, irrelevant. So that is a bit of an issue. He's only level 45. I'm scared I'll kill him. That's my biggest concern. I'm scared an earthquake will kill him. If it does, we'll just restart. <laughs> we can do this. If we kill him, that'd be so embarrassing. Alright. You're up, Mega Swampert. If you kill him, we just restart. That's as easy as this goes. Um, here we go. It shouldn't. Surely not. It's bloody ground on, mate. Precipical braids. That looks dangerous. Okay, I should be more afraid that he's going to kill me. Alright, here we go. Earthquake. Here we go. Oh, that nearly killed him. Like I said, I would like to... Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any status affecting Pokemon. Do I have any? Summary. Check moves. Uh, I should switch to Latios, but I'm going to die first. Um, because I want to try and go... Let's go for a takedown anyway. But we're probably going to die anyway. Um, I want to try and get a Dragon Breath off. And see if we can paralyze him with that. If not, like I said guys, la like, end case scenario, we'll use a Master Ball. Um, but if we can pull off a Dragon Breath here, we can no longer Mega Evolve. Oh, rest! Okay, that's a bit of a jag move. Because we don't really have anything to get him low again. Um, okay. That's an issue. Let's just spam Dragon Breath. Oh, I guess it can't really paralyze him while he's in this position. Surf is no longer a good move to use. Let's just go for a Lost to Purge. And once he's out of a sleep, we'll try to go for that again. Um, interesting though. We might even try to catch him with while he's asleep. 
Uh, I'm gonna go for one more last to purge. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up, buddy. Come on, you can stay asleep. Yes, okay. This should get him to almost in the red. If, if we don't crit, we'll kill him. If we crit, we'll kill him, sorry. Um, oh, this is perfect. He's asleep. He's red health. This is perfect. Where's my Ultra Balls? You're kidding me. I don't have any bloody Ultra Balls. Oh, for f crying out loud. Okay. Are we going to catch ground on a Great Ball? It's not going to happen. This is not going to happen. I was always tempted to use the Pokeball. One. Two. Three. Oh, we caught him in a Great Ball. And to think I was going to waste my Master Ball. Oh, boys. Latios, you did very, very well in that fight. Very, very well. I was almost going to pop that, but that was... I, I, I rate that, that, that whole fight. Rate it highly. Everybody deserves all the gains they're getting right now. And, of course, Grudon added to the Pokedex. Ah, now, who does he replace in the Pokedex? Ah, sorry, in the team. Alright, this is going to be a tough one to see who he replaces. But, uh, yeah, their face when they find out I have the Pokemon. Like, it's just like, lil. Alright, that, the Magma and Heech, that, if that, that shouldn't be killing me. Oh, there's an, entr there's an exit. Huh. What's that doing? Is that the blue orb? Oh, because, yeah, the, the suns are going crazy because of the primal. Okay, so the Cave of Origin is calming it down now. And there we go. It's done and it dusted. I, I still think some people should have got heat stroke out of that. Like, let's be real here. That was some pretty intense stuff. Plus, all the water should have been, like, evaporated a little bit as well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. But, back in Little Root Town, I am a hero. Isn't that right, Professor Birch? What was that sort of hand gesture? <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I'm just one paper Mario. The music, man. Oh, that's the Elite Four. And there's our boy... Wally. What is he doing there? How has he beat us that, to that place? Does he become our champion? Yes, he does, I think. Oh, no, it was Steven, no? Yes, yeah, Steven becomes the champion. I think. I want to say so. Team Magma with their Whalmers. They were blocking the path before. No, no. This feels like the, the first Pokemon movie when... When, when Mewtwo flies away, it feels like that bit right there. It's like, you know, yeah, everyone's like all happy and everything, you know. And this is what it feels like. And the, the, the music as well. It's just so relaxing and all the little sparkling things. We should just enjoy the moment. Oh. We did it, boys. We freaking won. We owe you great thanks. Do I get, like, a... Well, I guess I got a ground on. Like, their face went, like... I don't get it, though. Like, the whole thing, that bit skips me. It's like, they're all like, oh, no, ground on, ground on. And then I just chuck my great ball. Great ball. It makes it even better. A great ball out. And they just go, wow, man, you have ground on. Like, shouldn't you, like, kill everybody with that when you go Primal Evolution? And I'm like, nah, man, it's all G. He's good to go. All right. I suppose you may be right. However, personally in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for no matter how you try. I have committed wrongs so great as to bring the whole world to its knees. I may be that I, maybe that I, too much to assume that I should deserve the chance to start anything over. Is this mega ring out of his thing? However, this is precisely why you must now set things right. This definitely feels like the Mewtwo movie. <laughs> Should you find the resolve to do so inside yourself, then I team Magma Adam and Tabitha. I will serve your side. Aww, you little side bitch. <laughs> oh, God. What about you? You know, someday we adults are going to have to hand this world off to the little scamp and the rest of this generation. Bro, I got ground on. Like, I don't know why you're even hating at this point. After all, is it going to be a world that we claim by force? I don't know. I got ground and I can claim it all, apparently. End the whole game. Use the blue up to great effects. I imagine you will also be able to handle this. Have Groot on hold it, and you should be able to control its primal reversion for at least a short period, such as during a battle. 
A red orb. Oh, okay. And that's it from me. Like, how do they know I caught it, though? How do they know I... What happens if you don't catch it? It's just like... You don't catch it, but... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I know it's too much to expect that everyone will change at once. I hope this crisis may at least help them take at least a first vital step forward. Okay. Wallace. Yep, we have to take down Wallace. Use the flute. Oh, the Eon flute! Yes! We can put that on our Latios and then travel the world with it. It's proof of the bond between you and your Latios, no matter how far. Honestly, Latios went big that battle. He did. To the southern island. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together. Huh. As you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what effect it will have on you. If we do get the chance to meet again, I hope you're able to show me and my team your answers you found. Until then. Alright, catch you at E4, mate. <laughs> catch you at the E4. Phew, it's finally just the two of us again. What's up, Made the Bay? I should have changed her name to Bay. I really should have. It's pretty lonely, you know. Aww. If I really said something like that. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, you did something really amazing today. So let's try to take you easy for a while. See you later, Bay. <laughs> Jeez, the music in this. They've really done a great job with the music. Really is immersive. And just like that, we are the heroes. Let's turn this on. I feel like we get some cheeky items. Oh, what? Where are we right now? Is this Pseudopolis? Oh. Oh, yes, yeah, so and this is where we came through. Wow, all the... Wow, actually, all the bushes were completely just wrecked. Like, all the things that are here now weren't there before. That's probably crazy, actually. And the water was so dry. Oh, they still got that mad reflection, though. Alright, well, let's chat with this chick. Nothing else from there. All right. Well, guys, I think we might end this episode up right there. Quite a uh, dramatic episode. Uh, very, very awesome catch as well. I think next episode, we will definitely be taking down the Pseudopolis City Gym, the Water Gym. So it should be quite epic. We don't have any killer matchups on that. So might be a little difficult, but we'll see how we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys tomorrow.